the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth dear brethren how many things are there for us to learn from the mind of christ each and every phrase each and every word each and every purposeful meaning of the lord which has been recorded and kept for us has much to be thought and much to be made known but we are not able to understand what it is in the book of revelation chapter 2 writing to pergamos our lord says the doctrine of balaam and the doctrine of nicolaitine and many of the people have not even known that if they truly have the spiritual bona fide gift of a pastor teacher it is not there to go and conform or to ordain with flesh and blood but rather go and take the word of the lord faithfully being prepared 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 preparation comes first because our lord has called us separated us right from the womb and when we recognize it is not necessary for us to go and talk to an anointed man or to expose his reasons but rather go on and look upon the original language of the scriptures and study the word of the lord from a right mentor as in my case it is robert bunker theme as such how is your case you should be in god's care everything he does in his time he gives for us his angels to serve only when we make our habitation a dwelling place for god not for satan and in the unique dispensation of the church age when we walk in the fellowship of blood god the holy spirit not grieving nor squelching nor lying nor tempting but rather living and walking in the fellowship of blood god the holy spirit you will make the habitation place for god and when you make an habitation place for god take it granted you will have anything and everything which lord wants before a foundation before a word upon your tongue lord knows how to put a foundation for you because you desire doctrine apart from that nothing you desire right and true fellowship apart from that nothing Lord knows what for you are here in eternity past and what for I am here telling this message in eternity past. He has given us each and everything the great fortification against any other thing if one on left hand one man 100 men on the right hand 1000 men they cannot even come close unto these at our Lord. Right by your eyes you shall see the wicked fall. That great fortification that great power that great security our lord has given to us but then to the armen who don't understand the simple truth they want to still steal they want to still be lying and they want to go and confirm this men they have become against the natural use what it has to be the supernatural means of execution to really promote us to learn the word of the law as long as we fail to recover to know the fellowship of true bible doctrine we shall never through the men out of this sacred place doing business buying and selling because the sacred place of god has been called as a house of a prayer but the so called pastor teachers not from the lord god almighty hand through lord and savior jesus christ but rather from their own heart have really made it a cave of robbers the church is a living word god church a ground and pillar of truth spiritual sacrifices to be offered the manifold wisdom of god to be taught the greater glory to be given by the church to our lord the greater praise the greater glory the greater honor to lord god almighty alone you don't have any other reason or any other purpose being kept alive so that you could look you are grandchildren grow old like you no 
We are kept alive over here to be a witnesses for the truth. And if we are not witnesses for the truth, then your life is based on this earth. What for you are living, you do not know. The word which our Lord spoke, he has. The declarations in him, the life eternal. And if Lord sent his son with the formulation of a plan, before the foundation of the world, then he has made us even also to be before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless, and to be unreproachable at the judgment seat of Christ. Then how are we? Where are we? What are we? How could Lord live on this earth? Because of Bible doctrine. His thinking was purely doctrine. He never wanted to live his own life. Neither he can, because he is to the purpose born to be a witnesses for the truth. In particularly John 6.38, our Lord quotes, Not my will, O Lord, let thy will be done. Our meat is to do Lord's work. Our labor should be for the food which perishes not. But what are we doing today? Lord, let your will keep aside. I will do my own will. My meat is not to do Lord's will, but rather we will say, My meat is to eat, whether it is a buffalo or a beef or whatever they call and even have an acronyms for them. Peter means chicken. Abraham means beef. Isaac means goat. <laughs> Men are very clever to know. And the sad part of all these things is, whenever there is a pastor's conference, men, before leaving for the lunch, they will ask whether it is veg or non-veg. If it is vegetarian food, we cannot sit. If it is non-veg, then only we can sit. These morons fail to recognize the great spiritual food which will be fed from the congregation or from the pulpit to the congregation so that they should learn and change their lives. What they want? They want only food. That's how our Lord said. When a man comes voluntarily to say, Lord, I will follow you with Luke 9. Very clearly he says, foxes have holes, but the Son of Man don't have face to keep his head. He knew very well this man will follow him only for the sake of food. When he tells in John 6, 6, 6th chapter, you have come here in searching of the food that I have given to you, not for the things that I have done. So are today's Christian and pastors, even believers, even the congregation. The only reason can be it is Satan's throne. The only reason it could be because Satan started to copulate with the doctrines of Balaam, the doctrines of Nicola Pines and produced men, compromising in everything, not knowing the real chastity in Christ, not knowing the real praise, the honor, the glory which is due unto Christ. And men want to tell what we teach that we have to do, but I would rather say what you do that you teach. Because first you have to go, you have to observe, you have to do. And then you will be for God's people. Until and unless you go to learn the word of the Lord, you observe the word of the Lord, and you do the word of the Lord, you cannot be God's people. Said Jeremiah 14. Ezekiel 14. Ezekiel 11. But what are we doing today? We do not even care to bother what are we in Christ. Do you know that you are a royal priest? Do you know that you are a royal ambassador? Do you know that you have your priesthood to confess your sins? Do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost? I would say Holy Ghost in this realm because men love to be calling the believer's body as devil's house. In order to tell you the difference between the ghost, I would tell Holy Ghost so that you could be alert. It is not devil's ghost, but Holy Ghost. The right designation to my Lord God, the Holy Spirit, is very clear. He is the glorified, living Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the Lord God of hosts. He dwells in you. It is His temple. When you heed to Him, He is going to make a way for the Shekinah glory. Lord God, the Father, Lord God, the Son, even they both indwell in us. This wretched body, this useless body, like the basar, which they think, not even the nepesh nor the lep. Nepesh is soul, lep is heart. 
But this basar is outward structure of the animal body. This man without soul of nepesh and have heart of a flesh rather than stone, he is not a true human being. Without that soul, without that heart, he is also like an animal. That's why we call it as a basar in the Hebrew. This Basair is really being noticed today among our pulpits by these men who really do not understand the word of the Lord. And in this Basair, our Lord comes and indwells in us through making a heart in a new spirit. That's why born again is most essential. So that this Basar could now convert by the soul which has been there in you, by the thinking of doctrine, to the renovation of mind, to the exact chatter of full mature in Christ. Without doing that process of edification, you are grieving and squelching the three members of the Trinity in you. Be very careful of that. Though you may live a thousand years, without the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, you cannot even increase one millimeter of a millionth of a millimeter spiritually. Legalistically, you will. Piously, you will. To show forth your hypocritical trends. Carnally, you will but not spiritually. Spirituality demands the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and you need to be under the control of fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. It is a must that you need to believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as your only Savior. Without it, you cannot understand the spiritual phenomena, dear brother, and take it granted. Then you will realize, after believing in Christ, being in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, every word of the Lord is so pure and so holy, so true and so essential for us. Men can survive today's, today's technology without oxygen by taking ventilators. But the real Christian cannot survive without the word of the Lord. More than the physical food, what it can heat, the spiritual food will be Bible doctrine. Man can live, or man does not live by bread alone, that's what the scripture says, but he has to live by the every word of God. And when we reach for the purpose of which God sends us into this earth, till that time we have to work. And when our purpose has been attained, no matter what, if you can ask, Lord, give me one more second, one millionth of a second, Lord is not going to keep you all here on this earth. That's why every day to be counted for the glory of God, rather than making your belly to be God. Every day to be counted, to be counted, to be counted. So that every breath, every second could be for MGG and to attain that greater glory of God. That maximum glorification for Christ. Through the great process of Bible doctrine alone, and we cannot look upon anything else apart from this doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. We cannot, and we will not. Without holiness, we cannot see God. The word alone is the holy word of God, and without it, you cannot know what is holiness for Jehovah. In simple calculation, Apostle Peter tells, he is holy when you be holy. The same mandate given to the Old Testament people as well. The new mandate for the New Testament people as well, the new covenanted people under the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, they might have failed in the Old Testament time, but we cannot. No excuse for us to believe it. You know the only reason? Because you have Lord God, the Holy Spirit, dwelling in you. That's the only ultimate reason. The second reason is the completion of canon in our hands. The third reason is the bona fide spiritual pastor teacher gift given in every generation because God is faithful in handling over his ministers to us. But men can't receive them. Men love darkness rather than truth. Men love self-pomp rather than reality of the world. Boasting in their wealth, boasting in their blessings rather than boasting in the knowledge of God that he knows him. Dear brethren, Think over these issues. Life is too short to waste our time on vanities of vanities. Life is too short to sow to the wind and to reap for wind. 
this light has to be used for the greater glory of Jehovah alone. If you are a true believer in Christ and you respect anyone according to their standing in the word of the Lord, not whether they are elders or any other things. Jack Ashley men want to look and say, I'm elder, you have to respect me. Rather than respecting them, you should respect Christ in them. How much they are grieving, how much they are squelching, how much they are lying, how much they are tempting. And if anyone who does any harm to my Lord God Almighty, with the Trinity with me, not going to keep quiet. Far less Zachary can claim, any other moron can claim, but we will not. We will definitely pull down their evil imaginations. Whether it could cause her to be a martyr death or whether it is a peaceful death by Lord, whatever he gives. Till that time we are not going to stop. We will preach, we will teach, we will go on making to the greater glory of our Lord the works pertaining to him. So which way you want to go, you decide, dear brethren, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without flesh, without hope, and without eternal life. In our ability, telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us for very simple believing Christ, we shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire the possession of the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And whereas for the pastor teacher, the great merit is to carry us upon Lagan, herald the word in season out of season. Because of the diamond from my witnesses, wherewith you have been called. The number one diamond from my witnesses will be in the infinity, followed of the Bible in our hands. And number two diamond from my witnesses will be our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brethren, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic cost will be our witnesses. But what is our duty? Our duty is to rightly divide the word of the Lord. It is not a respecter of persons, not to seek, not to please men. But it is only to seek and to please God. If you are seeking and if you are pleasing men, you can never be the bond slave of Christ. And you are not the bond slave of Christ. Think over it. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For asking Christ's name, Father. Amen.